This use of play is brought to you by. It's the most wonderful Christmas with Flo with five ways to win $50,000. Just activate any prepaid or postpaid plan, top up $15 or more, pay your bill on time and in full, or sign up for the best in entertainment with Flo TV. That's five wonderful ways to win $50,000 from Flo. All this and much more from Flo this wonderful Christmas. Visit us in store today. It's Wednesday, December the 21st, 2016, and this is your Barbados Today Evening Update. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. Thanks for joining us. We begin with news that Barbados has slapped a temporary ban on the importation of poultry and poultry products from the UK and all other European Union member states. The Ministry of Agriculture said today that with immediate effect, all live birds, hatching eggs, fresh, frozen, and chilled poultry meat and products, including table eggs, originating from the UK and the EU will not be imported for the time being. The ministry said these restrictions follow confirmation of outbreaks of highly pathogenic avian influenza or H5N8 in poultry farms in England. The import ban, however, does not apply to processed products and byproducts that have been processed. Health authorities have cut back on the administration of the anti-tuberculosis vaccine, known as BCG, to all children in Barbados. Instead, the vaccine will now be given to children who may be at risk of exposure to the TB disease before the age of five. The Ministry of Health said in a statement today that the change would come into effect from January next year. The ministry said that the BCG vaccine protects children under five years of age from complications of TB and is most effective if administered to children under age one who live or frequent areas with a high burden of TB. Chairman of the Barbados Tourism Marketing Inc., Alvin Jamant, is optimistic of a strong winter performance. Jamant's predictions are based on data for the third quarter of this year, which shows that visitor spend continue to rise. The Caribbean Tourism Organization's quarterly ethics survey for July to September 2016 reports that visitors spent 2.6% more during this period when compared to the same time last year. There has been mixed reactions by business people in the city and south coast on sales for Christmas. Barbados Today's Anmar Goodrich Boyce was on the road today and has this report. I'm standing in Kea Shepherd Bridgetown, where Barbadians are doing their last minute Christmas shopping. There are no silver bells, but it's definitely Christmas time in the city. With the most anticipated holiday of the year just four days away, Kea Shepherd Bar Street was a hive of activity this afternoon. When a Barbados Today team visited the store, customers were busy purchasing Christmas presents with staff members were wrapping. Location manager Andrew Franklin says there has been an increase in business and as Christmas draws near, he expects more sales. Sales have looked very, very encouraging and I'm sure that um, K. Shepherd would be the place to be. Uh, the perfume department is the department of gift, for, for gifts of choice. Um, in the perfumery department, we're offering customers when they buy two perfumery, two perfumery items, they get the second item less 15%. So, Certainly, um, customers are happy to be here, um, including in the liquor department, where customers, when they shop in um, the liquor, they, when they buy the Johnny Walker Black Label, the second bottle, they offer 50% off. Well, on the south coast in St. Lawrence Gap, vendors are complaining of slow business. S so far, I ain't see, really seeing the sales that normally for a December, you know what I mean, for, for the Christmas season. That for the past couple of years, you know, things things was more things seems to be getting worse. I said the next two days or three days is supposed to start pick up at least the weekend. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I hope it'd be better. And Mark Goodrich Boyce reporting for Barbados today. In sports now, two-time Wimbledon champion Petra Kvitova will be out of tennis for at least six months after she recovers from a knife attack but should be able to resume her career. The 26-year-old Czech underwent surgery to tendons and nerves on her playing hand following the attack by an intruder at her home. There's regional and international news after this short break.
public bank just like Santa Claus. Maisie fix up the kitchen and a new TV we get in. A special time to commemorate. Republic will help you celebrate. Get ready to celebrate 50 years of independence right through to the best pension Christmas ever with a make it happen loan of up to $50,000 from Republic Bank. Give your home a good old Bajan spooser. Buy some new furniture and appliances or take an after holiday trip to visit loved ones over and away. You could also be one of our lucky winners to share in fabulous prizes. Just visit any branch to apply. Go to RepublicBarbados.com or call us at 227-2700. We're also available via Skype and FaceTime. Special conditions apply. Public Bank, we're the one for you. We're back with news from the region now. Ghana may be hit by power blackouts for Christmas. The Ghana Power and Light says it's doubtful the country would be able to enjoy full electricity supply even though systems are in place to deal with the anticipated heavy demands during the Christmas weekend. Royden James reports. The Guyana Power and Light on Monday said that the company has put systems in place for the approaching long Christmas weekend in the case of an emergency. This comes after the power company a few days ago worked around the clock to fix several problems which the company experienced in various parts of the country. But even as the systems are in place, the company cannot promise a Christmas without outages. Here is GPL's technical deputy CEO, Mr. Elwin Marshall. To say that, that, that I, I can guarantee you that it wouldn't happen before the end of the year, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't put my head on the block. What, what I'm saying is that we, we, we've done and we continue to do as much as possible to prevent occurrences of this sort. Mr. Marshall explained that the company has done lots of maintenance work for the year and the recent outages were unavoidable. GPL acting CEO Mr. Renford Homer said that the recent blackouts are coming at a time that seems to be putting the company in a bad spot. Still in Ghana, more than 250 delinquent employers who failed to meet their statutory obligations to the National Insurance Scheme have been taken to court. Those employers could face harsh measures if they fail to pay up. The National Insurance Scheme, NIS, has 279 errant employers before the courts to recoup hundreds of millions of dollars. That's according to NIS Assistant Operation Manager, Mr. William Boston. He says the NIS usually gives employers the option to put their houses in order, but some are just not showing a willingness to comply. For those who resist the initiative of coming and rectifying those, those cases, those are the cases that usually end up in court. So we may have default, some defaulters, for example, that we have coerced into payment and by a structured agreement, we are working with them. The 279 employers who are before the courts are those who would have failed to comply with the law and also failed to take up NIS's second chance offer. And on the international scene, the bodies of some of the 31 people killed in an explosion at a fireworks market outside uh, Mexico City are so badly charred that neither their age nor gender can immediately be determined. State Prosecutor Alejandro Gomez said that so far, only 13 bodies had been identified. He said the forensic experts were now carrying out DNA tests to identify the blackened remains of the dead. More than uh, 70 people were also injured when the explosion happened. Among them were three badly burned children who are due to be taken to a hospital in the U.S. for treatment. That's news and the sports, but for the very latest, visit our website at www.barbellistoday.bb. Also subscribe to our e-paper email updates and like us on Facebook. 
We are also on Izumi Media and Bus Terminals, our screenplay at supermarkets and gas stations near you, as well as Channel 99 on Flow TV and Mix 96.9 FM. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. Have a fantastic evening.